Manoush Samarati, Bored and Brilliant, How Spacing Out Can Unlock Your Most Productive and Creative Self. In a world filled with constant stimulation and distractions, boredom has become a rarity. Bored and Brilliant by Manoush Samarati explores the value and creative potential that arises from being bored. The book delves into how our use of technology, including smartphones and social media, has changed the way we think, process information and interact with others. Furthermore, the summary dives into the relationship between companies and the addictive nature of their platforms. Get ready to embrace boredom and unlock your most productive and creative self through better digital habits. Embrace Boredom, Boost Creativity Boredom, despite its unappealing reputation, can be a blessing in disguise, acting as a catalyst for creative thinking. In moments of boredom, our brains remain active, utilizing nearly 95% of the energy required when engaged in a task. With reduced focus, our minds tend to wander, making connections between old memories and present experiences, ultimately sparking creativity. Embracing the rare moments of boredom in today's fast-paced world might just be the key to unlocking our creative potential. Have you ever found yourself on a deserted Sunday, with no internet, no company, or no means of entertainment, and felt a wave of boredom hit instantly? It may sound awful, but guess what, boredom can be advantageous. To illustrate how much we dislike boredom, let's take a look at a research conducted at the University of Virginia. The experiment involved participants exposed to music, images, and mild electric shocks. Afterward, they were asked if they were willing to pay to stop these shocks, with 75% agreeing to do so. However, when left alone for 15 minutes with a button that delivered these shocks, one-third of the previously dissatisfied participants ended up giving themselves shocks to alleviate the boredom. Interestingly, we tend to choose minor discomfort over boredom, dismissing the fact that boredom can be beneficial. It's known to foster creativity. Reflect on a past argument, have you ever thought of the perfect comeback only after the quarrel was over? This could be attributed to the idea that when we're caught in the moment, our executive attention network becomes active and inhibits our ability to think creatively. Contrary to popular belief, the brain doesn't switch off during bouts of boredom. It remains active, consuming around 95% of the energy used when focused on a task. However, when bored, our concentration decreases, causing the mind to drift between memories and present actions. This wandering process allows us to make unexpected connections that ignite our creativity. Next time you find yourself bored, instead of dreading it, embrace the opportunity to tap into your creative potential. Shifting Digital Impacts Modern devices such as smartphones and tablets have undeniably altered the way we think and act, leading to a change in reading habits and a decrease in comprehension. Pre-internet, linear reading was the norm, but now we scroll, skim, and follow links, often struggling to engage with long text. The internet and screens have also been shown to negatively affect comprehension, as demonstrated by studies that indicate people remember more when reading a physical book or merely observing an object, rather than using an e-reader or photographing the object. This shift in cognitive function highlights the importance of being aware of our changing habits. It's hard to miss the sight of crowds of people immersed in their screens as they walk down the street or use public transportation. These incredible devices have become an integral part of our lives. However, they've also changed the way we think and act, leading to some concerning consequences for our cognitive functions. Writer Mike Rosenwald uncovered that the internet has transformed our reading habits. Gone are the days of linear reading. Now, we scroll, skim, and follow links, which in turn affect our ability to engage with lengthy texts. In fact, only 30% of people who started reading Rosenwald's article on his research finished it. The shift in our reading habits isn't solely due to the internet, screens themselves reduce our comprehension. And Mangan, a professor at the University of Stavanger in Norway, found that participants who read a mystery story in a bound book format were better at answering questions about the chronology of events compared to those who used an e-reader. Another aspect impacted by our digital age is memory, specifically, 
How Digital Photography Influences Our Ability to Remember Events Linda Henkel of Fairfield University discovered that participants remember details of objects they merely observed while touring a museum, compared to objects they photographed. These changes in our cognitive functions are undeniably linked to our increasing reliance on technology. As we continuously adapt to this digital era, it's crucial to be mindful of our habits and their potential effects on our lives. Addictive Tech, Harnessing Human Instincts Technology companies utilize deep-rooted human instincts to make their devices and platforms habit-forming and addictive, likening them to drug dealers. They capitalize on our penchant for completion, scarcity, and comfort to encourage continued use. These seemingly innocuous tactics can ultimately lead to a severe addiction in a subset of users. Like drug dealers, technology companies have a penchant for referring to their customers as users. There's a valid reason for this. Many modern devices and platforms are designed to create addiction, ensuring our attention is constantly on them. As our most valuable resource, our attentiveness is readily exploited by these companies. One psychological trick they employ is the endowed progress effect. This phenomenon arises from our desire to complete tasks we believe are close to being finished. For instance, LinkedIn displays a profile completion bar, suggesting that you're almost done. This entices you to stay engaged and finish setting up your profile. Digital marketing expert Nir Eyal argues that such subtle manipulation acts like mind control and can be as addictive as alcohol, cigarettes, or other drugs. Eyal estimates that 2-5% of tech users become severely addicted, to the extent that digital devices and products should bear a, potentially addictive, label. In addition to exploiting our existing instincts, companies also strive to create entirely new habits. For example, Mobile gaming companies limit playtime and lives to encourage us to value and continue playing the game, thus forming new habits. Uncertainty is another deeply ingrained trait that tech companies manipulate for their benefit. For instance, Uber alleviates this by showing users the precise location of their driver immediately after a ride is requested. This comforting experience increases the likelihood of using the service again. In summary, Technology companies ingeniously harness human instincts and habits to make their platforms and devices addictive. The methods used result in a significant number of users who are essentially hooked on technology, evoking the tactics employed by drug dealers. Unplugging boosts connection. Unplugging from technology has its advantages, such as fostering deeper connections with others and increasing information retention. A study conducted by Virginia Tech revealed that engaging in conversations without the presence of smartphones resulted in higher empathy levels. Likewise, NYU professor Laura Noren observed enhanced student engagement after banning laptops from her classroom, following research indicating better memory retention through handwritten notes. Disconnecting from technology is akin to taking breaks from work, essential to maintain productivity in the long run. Consulting firm BCG managed to boost employees' personal recovery and teamwork by implementing team communication-free days. So, remember to step away from technology and enjoy the benefits that come with taking a break. Unlocking mobile games benefits Mobile games, often seen as a waste of time, can provide surprising benefits when played correctly. Author and game developer Jane McGonigal states that playing games in short bursts and drawing meaningful connections between them and reality can improve mental health. Choosing the right game, like those that reduce stress and anxiety, can offer therapeutic effects when played occasionally. Teaching children healthy gaming habits can lead to educational benefits, such as the popular game Minecraft, which is now used in classrooms worldwide for subjects like math, history, and social studies. The key to unlocking the potential of games lies in promoting and modeling healthy digital behavior. Playing mobile games in moderation can lead to mental health benefits. Short sessions of games designed to reduce stress and anxiety can have notably advantageous effects. It's crucial to avoid getting overly absorbed in games that lead to a detachment from reality, as using games to escape real-life problems can exacerbate them. Fostering healthy gaming habits in children is equally important. 
Rather than banning games altogether, understanding their educational potential can lead to transformative learning experiences. A prime example is computer teacher Joe Levin, who introduced his young daughter to Minecraft and quickly recognized its educational value. The game helped her learn to spell her first word, prompting Levin to incorporate it into his classroom. This success led to the development of Minecraft EDU, an educational version now employed in over 7,000 classrooms across 40 countries for teaching various subjects. By promoting and modeling responsible digital behavior, we can harness the considerable potential of mobile games for personal improvement and education. Instead of dismissing them as mere time wasters, understanding and adopting best practices in gaming habits can unlock genuine benefits for both our mental well-being and intellectual growth. Balancing Tech and Childhood Development The influx of technology and social media in children's lives has led to numerous repercussions, such as diminishing empathy and problem-solving skills. In response, some education systems and parents have sought to ban technology altogether or limit it in specific settings. However, allowing children to learn to establish their own boundaries with technology, guided by appropriate authority figures, provides a more sustainable approach to nurturing a healthy relationship with technology. There's no denying that modern technology has an overwhelming impact on childhood development. So much so that legendary tech innovators like Steve Jobs even prohibited their own children from using certain devices. The risks associated with unrestrained access to technology are backed up by research, such as Dr. Mary Helen Imordino Young's studies of social media's effect. She found that frequent users of social media often show decreased empathy and creative problem solving skills. Furthermore, Lauren Sherman's study at UCLA that replicated a young person's Instagram feed revealed how social media significantly influences opinion forming. Numerous strategies have been employed to counteract the negative consequences of technology overuse. Waldorf schools, for example, exclude technology from their learning environments until the seventh grade, which surprisingly resonates with Silicon Valley CEOs who believe that technology hinders overall development. However, the alternative approach of providing guidance and allowing children to establish their own technological limits has shown promise, as illustrated by an experimental leadership camp in Pennsylvania. Matt Smith, a Longacre Leadership Camp staffer, permitted campers to use technology after the first week instead of banning it altogether, which typically is the standard practice. To his surprise, after an initial spike in usage, young participants started to set and enforce their own limits on their tech habits. By nurturing children's self-regulation and providing wise counsel, we can foster a healthy and balanced relationship between youngsters and technology that benefits their growth and development. Embrace the Board and Brilliant Challenge The Board and Brilliant Challenge is a week-long program designed to help you develop better technology habits. The first four days involve self-observation, avoiding device usage while on the move, taking a photo-free day, and deleting an overused app, ultimately leading to a healthier digital lifestyle. Dive into the Bored and Brilliant Challenge, a one-week program aiming to improve your technology habits by offering a new mini-challenge for each day. The first four days unfold as follows. Day 1 calls for self-observation. Throughout a regular day, monitor your digital habits without attempting to change them yet. Moment, for iOS, and Space, for Android, are two helpful apps showing the number of times you unlock your phone daily and the total time spent on the device. On day two, avoid using your device while on the move, be it during your daily walk, commute, or simply waiting in an elevator. Refrain from half measures, don't use your phone at all. Keep it in your pocket or purse and focus on observing your surroundings instead of podcasts or music. Day 3 is a photo-free day, requiring you not to take any photographs. This simple action aids in better immersing yourself in the present moment while enhancing the recollection of your experiences later. To challenge yourself further, avoid sharing or liking any photos as well. Come day 4, delete an app you often overuse during idle moments. Don't trick yourself into temporary removal, commit to deleting it. With the app gone, you'll rediscover the valuable moments that previously went unnoticed. Embarking on the board and brilliant challenge may be tough at first,
but after the initial hurdle, you'll progress to the second phase, which revolves around building healthier digital habits. Boosting creativity amidst digital chaos. Cultivate your creativity by unplugging from digital devices to focus on projects or simply soak in the tranquility of a tech-free environment. Observe your surroundings and ponder solutions to personal anxieties with refreshed clarity and resourcefulness. Embarking on a journey to break free from unhealthy digital habits. It's time to get creative. Start by taking a vacation, a designated window of time devoid of digital distractions. Whether for an entire day or just half an hour, this tech-free period allows you to concentrate on unfinished projects or savor some notification-free bliss. Before detaching from the digital realm, set up auto-responses for your emails and other communication channels to inform contacts of your temporary unreachability. With this space carved out, you've paved the way for creativity to blossom. As day six beckons, venture into a public space sans digital devices and simply observe your surroundings. Listen to the buzz of conversation, study the architecture, and immerse yourself in the scents and sights of the world around you. This sensory experience not only calms the mind but may also reveal fascinating discoveries you would have missed otherwise. Day 7 combines the efforts of the previous days into a creativity-nurturing challenge. Identify an unresolved issue in your life causing anxiety or confusion. Seclude yourself for 30 minutes without distractions or interruptions. On a sheet of paper, fill the page with ones and zeros, making the numbers as tiny as possible to prolong the process. Allow yourself to be utterly bored. Once boredom reaches its peak, grab a fresh sheet of paper and brainstorm solutions to your chosen issue. If all goes well, the rejuvenated creativity born from boredom will generate a solution that wouldn't have surfaced otherwise. Remember, the bored and brilliant challenge won't resolve all your dilemmas overnight. However, it's a valuable tool to enhance your digital habits and reshape your relationship with digital devices, ultimately encouraging a more resourceful and balanced mindset. To sum up the key learnings from Bored and Brilliant, boredom can actually boost creativity and our engagement with technology has altered the way we process information and connect with others. Companies utilize their knowledge of human instincts to keep us engaged and addicted to digital platforms. By being cognizant about our use of technology, disconnecting and taking breaks from it, we can improve our personal and professional lives. To develop healthier digital habits, the Bored and Brilliant Challenge can guide you in replacing negative habits with positive ones, leading to a more balanced and creative life.